David, tonight, almost 3,000 miles away, a group of Newton men are honoring a tradition that keeps their bodies fit and their hearts full. Every year, they take a week-long bike trip that gives them a chance to see the country and celebrate friendship. Are you going to take these off? Michael Weinblatt, Bruce Edmonds, and their friends have got it down to a science. They're packing up bikes they'll reassemble in Washington State, the latest destination for a group that decades ago named itself the WIMPs. W-Y-M-P-S, which stands for Wobbin Young Men Peddling Society. And you're sticking with that 29 years later. We could be the WAMPs now, Wobbin <laughs> Old Men Peddling Society, yes. Over 24 years, their annual adventure has taken this cycling band of brothers, now 10 members strong, across the country twice, through mountain passes to battlefields, national parks, and neighborhoods. You appreciate, number one, the wonderfulness of Americans. Some of the people that we've met were unbelievably spectacular. You also appreciate how blessed we are in Massachusetts. 08 was Boise and Florence, so that was the that was last, last leg of the, of the East the West trip. Wow. But the real draw isn't the people, the challenge, or even the scenery. In some respects, we're closer than brothers and sisters. It's the friendship. In fact, we meet every day. Yep, every day of the year at this Newton Starbucks. That's how close they are. We've gone through our kids growing up, parents' illnesses, divorces, business issues, so we're a pretty tight group. It's almost a coincidence that we cycle together because really we're friends first. They've also shared loss. Fellow wimp John Willett died of a brain tumor after their 2015 Yellowstone trip. These friends don't take health, time, or togetherness for granted. We're in our 60s and 70s. Our wives are friends, so it's a very, very closely knit group all together. It's very special. This year's trip, Olympic National Park in the San Juan Islands. New memories for the wimps, whose bond only gets stronger. Well, I've already started to think about next year. And there is nothing wimpy about the effort. On these trips, they ride between 60 and 100 miles a day. Bruce's wife tells me when he comes home, he is definitely grateful for clean laundry, a nice meal, and the comforts of home. But a great effort. That is unbelievable. They seem like such nice guys. And such a bond. Yeah. You know. Do they know about next year already? Well, they're already thinking maybe the Blue Ridge Parkway, because that trip sort of got rained out. Okay. Um, or Utah. But planning all very, is all picturesque. Fun. Exactly. Awesome. Beautiful great story. places. Thanks, David.